Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us tonight. Tonight we're gonna walk around some more inventory that came in from Dad's. Believe it or not, yesterday we finished. We finished hauling stuff out of there. There were three or four that he moved down to his other lot, but other than that, we've got them all moved in. And I think we started with 80 some cars about five or six months ago. So once uh, we're gonna have a quick walk around of some of the stuff that just came in on that deal. And uh, then, as I, then I gotta start sorting them out and putting them together. So we'll get you some good videos of this stuff once we get them sorted with their with their like type friends. So first one we had here is the 63 Buick Wildcat Tudor hardtop. Definitely a seldom seen body style. Just like a lot of these cars from Dad's, it's full of parts. There's a Skylark 64, 65 Skylark, 64 Skylark fender. Lots of 64 Impala parts stuffed in this one. But uh, Tudor hardtop Wildcat, something you don't see every day. Behind that one, there's a 59 Electra four-door hardtop, flat top. Great looking roof line. I always like the design of this car. Cadillac used this roof, Buick used this roof. I think Oldsmobile used it too. It's got the overhang over the back window. Good looking cars, big fins and a flat top roof on this 59 Electra. Up next, another 63 Wildcat. This one, a four-door hardtop. This one's been around a long, long time. This was on one of the back, back rows. I don't know how long this car's been out there, but it's been a long time, but still some good stuff there. Last one in this Buick section that came in from Dad's 62 LeSabre two-door hardtop. Also another good looking roof line on these cars. And still some hard to find two-door stuff left on this car. Even still got the grill tucked up underneath there. So anyway, we're going to cut across and look at the last few Pontiacs that came in. Walk past our G-bodies. There's some Ford pickup front clips that came in this weekend. 53 and a 55. Some more truck cabs over here. Now that I've got the bulk of this stuff here, now I've got a lot of sorting to do. I kind of got stuff scattered everywhere. So... A lot of things that I've got sitting around that I've got to start getting sorted into their respective areas so I know where it's all at. A whole pile of sheet metal that came in last week. We'll catch that here on a, on a video here real quick, real soon. Walk up past this stubby little Studebaker that Dad found yesterday. We'll get you a video on that here in a few days. It's kind of a cute little truck. It is a dually, but it's a little stubby thing. A couple more 55 Pontiacs that came in from Dad's. We had uh, three of these that came in about a month or two ago we got moved. These were the last two. Plus, I've already got two or three other 55 Pontiacs in stock. Once we get, uh, get these things sorted out by group, like I told you, I'll start bringing you some specific videos on the specific year models of these cars. These cars are pretty solid. A lot of good sheet metal on them. A lot of good stuff left yet. And we'll head down here to the end of the row to this 1948 Pontiac. This was actually the last one that we hauled out of the lot. I even took a picture of this as we were loading it with the empty lot behind it. I'll have to post those pictures up. Grill's gone, but still a lot of good trim on this thing really solid old car it's got that great looking torpedo back styling on it so pretty sharp car but anyway we're done we got them all out of there it's been a heck of a project now i got to get it all sorted put away try to get this stuff grouped together so that i can find it because it's kind of scattered everywhere so anyway Thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate you coming by, hanging out, spending a few minutes with us. And uh, keep watching uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Lots more cool stuff coming. And like I always tell you guys, if you have questions, you have to call me. There's no possible way to keep up with comments between Facebook, the Nobody Else's page, the Nobody Show page, the YouTube Nobody Show page or channel. 
there's people commenting everywhere there's no way to keep up with it my numbers are on the pages just give me a call and i'll be happy to talk about what you need and see if i've got anything that'll help out with your project and like we've talked about in the past i have to know what you're trying to do with your project to be able to help you i don't know if you're building a rat rod or a hundred point restoration all those different things come into play so anyway just give me a shout lots of cool stuff to talk about lots more stuff coming and uh we will catch you on the next video thanks for being here thanks for just taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with us we will see you soon